Here is a complete set of the most luxurious printing of the Winnie the Pooh books by A.A. Milne. I'm Pom Harrington and I'm the owner of Peter Harrington Books. So I'd like to show you this set of the Pooh books printed on Japanese vellum. Um, these were issued simultaneously um, with the first editions and actually the first one to be printed was um, Winnie the Pooh. Let me show you that. Now only 20 copies were produced of this extra limitation, um, which were issued simultaneously with the regular large paper signed and the trade editions in 1926. And we can tell it's the right one. I'm going to open it up and I'll show you the limitation page. Oops. How's it gone? There we are. On the back here, I'll just show you that. So, limited edition of 20 copies, and it's signed by both Milne and Shepherd. Now, this was intended for the luxury end of the uh, collector's market. Winnie the Pooh um, books were, I mean, they were collected immediately um, by, by book collectors worldwide, and particularly in America. And this was issued for that very high end luxury book market. Um, the idea of Japanese vellum was it was meant to look like real vellum. Real vellum is extremely difficult to print on, extremely expensive. So um, in this period of time, they had developed this very creamy um, paper, which looks like vellum and feels like vellum a little bit. Um, it gives that nice creamy texture rather than that white. And so yeah, it was very successful. They, they sold 20 copies of each, and they only issued the last three books. Um, they never did it for when we were very young. Now, condition is really important. Um, they were issued this vellum binding, um, which is beautiful cream, and it tends to uh, go quite grubby and dirty and warped. And actually, all three books here were actually, I'm just going to show you at the front here, they're just in lovely condition. Um, actually, I'll just show you the top edges and as that comes through. They've never really been opened or read. It's the reason why they're so nice condition. You can see the folds there. Yeah. And then you've got these yap edges here. And it really is this all in pristine condition. Lovely. I mean, um, it's exactly the kind of condition one would like to have in a book collection. Um, I have more details of these books and other books by A.A. Milne on the Peter Harrington website.